Hi, this is Thomas from Apex Game Tools. In this video, we will look at uh, how to get started using Apex Path. Um, now, to start off with, I'm just going to add some uh, geometry to my scene, something to walk on, a bit of lighting, and I'm also going to add an agent that I can move around my scene. Now, these items that I just added are just pure meshes. That they have no uh, Apex Path related stuff attached to them at this point. Um, so the next part is to initialize uh, the scene with Apex Path functionality that will allow us to move around with the unit. Um, so we, I'm just going to show you the very basics of setting this up. I will not be going into detail with each of uh, the objects or each of the components. That will be done in other videos. So to get started, in this case I have a unit so what I would do is I would add a behavior to my unit that will allow it to move. To do so I will select Add Component, Apex, Quick Starts, and then I will select one of these navigating unit um, behaviors that will allow me to move my unit. Now just briefly to touch on these, as you can see there are four. We have one here that is um, just without um, any suffix. This is for AI units. This will be units that you would control through script. Normally enemy units. Um, you have units on patrol. You have units that you can select. Um, by default you can use the mouse to select and move them around. And uh, lastly you have a wandering unit that will just wander around the scene at random. So I'm going to select uh, this one for this example click that and yes, you can see this will add quite a few behaviors uh, or components to my unit and it will also create the game world. The game world is a central item um, in Apex Path. It contains various components that um, we will uh, go into detail with in another video. Now the only thing I need to do now oops. Um, on my game world, I need to do a mapping between layers defined in my scene and the layers known by Apex Path. In the game world, there is this component called layer mapping. And right now, as you can see, it says nothing in all the different layers. To make the mapping, the first thing you would need to do is define the layers. Now, I have already done that for this project, but it is an easy task of simply making user-defined layers, three of them. Only one of them is absolutely necessary, that is the terrain layer. The, the other two are optional, but they are recommended because they add uh, functionality to Apex Path. So I've defined these three, and then the only thing I need to do is actually do the mapping. So I'm going to say my static obstacle layer, I will say we've called that blocks. Terrain, I've called that terrain. And for units, I've called it units. There we go. Now we have um, these things laid out. And now I just need to put my geometry into the correct layers. So I'm going to put my ground into the terrain layer. And I'm going to put my unit, oh, it's already in the units layer. So there we go. As you can see, this turned, as you probably remember, the grid was red before, now it's not. This means that it has been properly initialized and it now knows that the ground is a walkable area. So when I start my scene, I will now be able to select my unit and I will be able to click it around inside the grid and it will move where I click my mouse. I can even move outside the grid if I wish to navigate out there. Yep, so that is the basic getting started. Um, watch the other videos for an, uh, a more detailed look at each of the um, individual parts.